CRM and Constant Contact Integration, Demonstration Version 2.0. And our presenter for today, we have Jake Budikoffer. They've been getting a lot of award-winning uh, accolades recently, a lot of good articles written about sugar, and uh, we are thrilled to be partnered with them, and we're looking forward uh, to a great future uh, being partnered with sugar. A little bit about Constant Contact. Uh, they specialize in email marketing, event marketing, social media marketing, and online survey tools. Uh, they were founded in 1995 and have about a half a million plus uh, customers worldwide. As more and more companies tend to use email marketing and marketing automation, Constant Contact continues to grow. Uh, we'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about our company, Faye Business Systems Group, and what we do here. Uh, we have about 25 years of consulting and customizing experience. Uh, we are a Sage partner as well as an authorized Sugar partner. Uh, we've developed about five integrations with Sugar, uh, a couple more actually, uh, ranging from our new integration with Intact, which is an accounting software, uh, to Mass90 accounting software, to this Constant Contact, and we also have an authorized.net. And uh, here are just the key uh, features of the, the integration. Um, there are some new features on this version, a couple of them being we added the actual click-through link uh, to the actual lead and campaign view. Uh, before, it would just show that they actually clicked on something. This one, you actually get to see the link in the uh, campaign or lead, which I will show you. Um, we made a constant contact import uh, because there were, we were dealing with a lot of uh, people who, were, who have been using Constant Contact a lot longer than they were using Sugar. Uh, so we created this import that would allow them to import all their contacts very easily instead of exporting to a CSV file and importing into Sugar. Um, we created this tool which allows them to uh, import their contacts or leads into Sugar. And we're currently working on an, a feature where we'll be able to uh, assign them to a lead source uh, with the import, so you can kind of be able to track exactly you know what leads are coming from Constant Contact. Um, so and you know you can do all the basic stuff. You can add people to lists within Sugar. You can view all your campaign results. You can create reports based on the the campaign results. And so basically, all you have to do in Constant Contact is create the emails. This is a screen that pops up after the initial uh, install of the, the integration, uh, which basically you just put in your constant contact login and then we, you put in the key that we give you. There are a couple manual processes that you have to do uh, initially uh, to get the integration configured properly. You actually have to click on the download campaigns button as if you ran a campaign you know, at, uh, earlier in the day and you didn't want to wait until the end of the day to see the results. So you would just click on the download campaign button and that would pull over all the campaign's information of uh, what you'd sent out that day as well as all the previous campaigns. Um, the, uh, they're also it's set on the scheduler to run once a day. If you want to change that, you can to run it as often as possible. I'll show you briefly how to do that. Uh, the sync list here, so there's two things that you actually have to do in Constant Contact. Uh, you have to actually create the, the emails in Constant Contact. And we, we did it that way because they have a bunch of nice HTML templates and, you know, that's what they do. So we, we made it so that you actually create the emails in Constant Contact because they have a bunch of nice templates. And then the only other thing you have to do is you actually have to create the list titles inside of Constant Contact and then sync those over to Sugar. And that's how Sugar knows that this is a Constant Contact list. So I'm going to go ahead and create a list really quick and send that over to Sugar just to show you how uh, easy that is to do. So you just go ahead and create, create new. that. So now we have five lists here. I click on sync lists. This process sends all the list titles from Constant Contact over to Sugar. So if we refresh this, the uh, fifth list will now show up. And there it is. There's the marketing list. So now if you wanted to add people to lists, you simply just click on you know the marketing list, and then you have you can select from uh, contact, you can select from leads, and you can also select from reports which I know is very important to a lot of companies because they, they create reports you know, bi-monthly or maybe every week and they need to be able to constantly be updating you know, certain contacts and leads from those reports and add them to the list. Um, the other thing we added, which I talked about briefly, was the download contacts and, and you can import them into Sugar. And this is more so meant to be a, a one-time import because like I said earlier, we were dealing with some people who had 
you know, thousands of con uh, contacts in constant contact, and then they just purchased sugar, and they had no real easy way of getting all those constant contact contacts into sugar. So we created this, and uh, we have a new feature which will be coming out in a couple weeks, which will allow you to assign a lead source uh, to these, you know, from the import, so that when you go to sugar, you can see, you know, how many were from constant contact if that is a lead source uh, for you guys. This is, there's two different ways that you can add to lists within Sugar. You can either do it from the target list or you can do it from the contact or lead. Uh, so if you wanted to go directly to the target list and uh, you wanted to select a bunch of contacts, let's go ahead and select from a report. Um, let's go ahead and call this by last day contacted. And so then you see that they would, here we go, there's 243 contacts on this list. And so um, whenever you do a mass update like this in, inside of Sugar, it runs based on the scheduler. So um, the, uh, I think the scheduler by default is set for every two hours for a mass export to constant contact. So two hours from now you will see that the, all 243 contacts were added to the, uh, to the constant contact winner promotion list. I'm going to go ahead and go to a contact and show you how the results look from a contact. You can view the results from a contact. You can view the results two ways. You can view it under the contact view or lead view, or you can review it under the campaign, under the campaigns module, which shows you all the high-level results of all the click-throughs, all the views, and everything. So you know, one good thing to think about uh, in terms of this integration, uh, me being a salesperson, I, I constantly am going to individual lead records or individual uh, contact records, and I like to see, you know, if they've been active in our constant contact or not. So, so with this Wes, I know he's kind of a fan of our Google Plus page. So then I have kind of a warm uh, introduction. I can talk about, you know, whatever's on our Google Plus page and help the cold call kind of become a little bit warmer. So these are the campaign results. We sent two campaigns in the last two months. And for every activity, there is a represented field value. So um, you know, you'll be able to say, okay, it was sent to him, he clicked through, he clicked on this link, and then he viewed the message. And in February, he did the same thing. He just clicked on a different link and he viewed it. Uh, so if we want to go ahead and uh, add Wes to an additional list or remove him from list, uh, we just go ahead and click the edit on the contact or lead. Now keep in mind the sync to constant contact checkbox is a custom field that is part of the integration. And I'll show you in a second that if they opt out, uh, those transfer back and, and it, it opts them out so you can no longer add them to a list. Let's go ahead and click edit. If you want to add them to a list, you can either just deselect and, and reselect. You can highlight and then click save. And there he is. So let's see. Um, we have zero on the test list. So let's go ahead and add him to the test list and then show how that syncs in real time. If you sync an individual contact, that will automatically send over. But if you do mass updates, that runs based on a uh, batch upload, a batch uh, on the scheduler. So we'll add him to that test list. And there he is there. And let's go refresh the constant contact page. And then you can see the contact has been added to the test list. So whenever you add a contact, an individual contact, uh, it automatically syncs over to constant contact. Some people were using Sugar before they used constant contact and were doing email campaigns through Sugar initially, and they want those um, Sugar opt-outs to transfer back to constant contact opt-outs, and that will be included in our next release. Uh, so if you have Sugar opt-outs and you've been using Sugar longer than constant contact, uh, you can transfer those opt-outs to Constant Contact, so they are no longer they are no longer emailed. Uh, so this is what the the contact looks like if they've opted out. So you can see here through the details that he did opt out in the February message. So um, this would be important for you know for follow-ups as well because you know me not having access to our Constant Contact account this is pretty critical because. If I'm going through a follow-up and I know he's opted out, I have to approach it a little bit differently than someone who was clicking on a bunch of links and who's, you know, who's interested in our information. Whereas with, with Andrew, I have to be a little bit more, uh, not hesitant, but I have to be more wary of 
exactly how to approach the situation. Um, so if you go ahead and you want to add him to a list, if you try to do anything, you just simply can't. There's no, uh, you know, there's no process to create uh, any action. So that's what it looks like when a, uh, when a contact opts out. Now let me go ahead and show you how the campaign results look from the campaign module. So if we want to click on one of our promotions, this is uh, the integration was built to work in the standard Sugar campaigns module. So if you've used campaigns through Sugar, it'll look pretty similar uh, to those that you've sent out through Sugar. Uh, one of the benefits of doing your email campaigns through Constant Contact as opposed to doing them through Sugar is you don't have to be you don't have to worry about sending out too many emails and being blocked off as spam. Uh, a lot of our, our clients that ended up purchasing the integration uh, actually did so because they just simply couldn't get the amount of emails through um, the standard sugar campaigns because of their, their email provider was blocking them as spam. So if you, if you do it through Constant Contact, you don't really have to worry about any of that. Constant Contact has all the opt-outs and unsubscribes, so uh, you don't have to worry about sending too many emails. You get unlimited emails through Constant Contact. Um, so this is a, the February promotion. Uh, it was sent to 32 people, and um, you see the target list that it was sent to, the general interest list. If there were mo multiple target lists sent to, you'd see both uh, listed right here. Below you see the tracker URLs, and again, this is similar to how the, cost, the uh, sugar campaigns look. And if you want to see more detailed results, you just click on the viewed status. And so here we see that it was sent to 32 people. We had two bounced messages, um, two bounced others, and nine bounced that were invalid. This is important because it lets you know that the nine that were invalid are no good and you have to find new emails, whereas uh, the two bounces are uh, what are called soft bounces, which would be either a like a vacation reply, out of office reply, or something like that. And this was one of our newer features as well. And we're differentiating between the hard and soft bounces. You get to see eight click-throughs and 14 viewed the message, as well as one opted out, which I just showed you how that record looks um, from a contact view. But if you scroll down, you get to see exactly who the message was sent to. You get to see exactly who viewed the message. And you get to see exactly who clicked on what and what they clicked on. And if there were any leads created, you would get to see that as well. And here are the bounces in valid emails which you know then you can create a report or you can search you know, based on name and, and you know that you have to find valid emails. And then there are the two that you know, bounce for a, very, um, a varied number of reasons. And then there's the opt-out. So that's basically uh, how the, the campaign results look inside of Sugar. And so you know, it's really beneficial because you can report on these campaign results just as you would on your you know, regular Sugar campaign results. So all of the constant contact information that transfers over is all reportable uh, through standard sugar reporting, you know, with the professional version. And so the last, one of the last things I want to show you just briefly, um, you know, there, there are schedulers, like I said, there are manual processes here, uh, but you only need to do them as need be if you need certain information right away. Um, you know, what I would recommend is just tweaking around the scheduler to uh, fit that to adjust within your business processes. Uh, so if you wanted to do something, if you wanted to change a scheduler, all you have to do is click on one of the schedulers um, on edit. And so I think right now we had it once a day. If you want to do it as often as possible, you can just every one minute. And so it will go as, as often as possible, and so the campaign results, you'll never really have to click on that button. And so, you know, majority of the integration is built so that all of it is synchronized in the background. You don't have to do any manual processes. You just build your campaigns, and when they're done, the results seamlessly flow over into your, into your sugar. And if you've created campaigns, if you've created reports uh, for those campaigns, uh, you can, all that stuff is highly visible uh, within sugar. And with that, that pretty much uh, sums up the, uh, the demonstration. 
Uh, you have to have version 6 or higher. have either pro, corporate, enterprise, or, or ultimate. This does not work with the community edition yet.